What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So we finally got a nice sunny dry day and we're going to be working on this parts truck to get the dash out of this again. And again, we still do not have the wheels, the forces for the six speed. I don't know why they're not here yet other than the COVID delays due to the whole scamdemic thing going on. Uh, that's my view on it. We'll leave it at that. Basically, we're waiting on the wheels for this truck to get that pretty much done in terms of in terms of the exterior. Interior, we're still waiting a response from the leather guy to get the leather, basically limited style leather done on the interior of the truck. But essentially with this dash, the reason we didn't get any further with it in that video we tried to was you have to remove the stripping down here, like the waterproofing, I guess you could say. Because essentially what we need to do with this is get these bolts out and there's like probably six or seven, maybe eight, but they're hidden underneath that weather strip. So we have to find a way to get the weather strip off so we can get the bolts out so we can actually take the dash out and paint the dash. So we did get the dash all broke loose and let me tell you, it's it's a lot of fun. So essentially what you have to do is like, I had to cut out little triangular spots all along the windshield to be able to get to the bolt heads without taking the whole windshield out. Now, if this is a truck that you're trying to take care of, I would just take the whole windshield out and put all new like stripping and whatever and put it back in. But this one's all cracked and we're actually getting rid of this truck. Our good buddy Devin, the guy that does all the suspension, he takes the you know vehicles to get the tent work done with him and his buddy and all that stuff. He's actually going to be taking this truck and we're making a trade because I don't know why he wants the truck other than he said he wants to turn it into basically a street build with an LS swap engine in it because the frame and axles and all that like the, the bones, like the cab mounts, everything's good. Nothing's rotted out on the truck. It's got a little bit of oxidation and surface rust on the frame, but nothing is rotted out at all. And it's only got 80,000 miles on the drivetrain and all that stuff. So he wants to basically take this, do an LS swap, and basically make a raggedy old looking truck with solid structure to be like, basically like a total sleeper truck. So that's his plan with it. He's planning on picking this thing up, but I told him I gotta take the dash, then it's yours. So let's see if we can get this dash out without breaking anything. So we got the jumpers hooked up to the parts truck because our friend Devin is going to be picking this truck up soon. So we got to get that truck to where it's running and driving again, which is just needing a jump start. We're going to run the jumpers off of this. I did get some updates on the wheels and tires for this truck. I'm going to share with you in a minute. And just like that, she's running again. old grill put back on the truck and it's ready to go for Devin to come and pick this thing up or we might haul it to him. And here is the dash out of the truck. We did get it out. For the most part, it's in pretty darn good shape. It's got one little broken clip right here, one little tab. But for the most part, the dash is in a pretty good shape. We're probably gonna paint that. What do you guys recommend after I get this kind of pressure washed lightly and let it hang and dry? What do you guys recommend for paint for that dash? I might hang it somewhere here in the barn or like hang it down out here by the open door over one of these beams before we put the ceiling in and spray it hanging like, you know, straight on level. But what do you guys recommend for paint to paint the dash? You want to paint the dash black. When we get the truck back, I'm going to paint the door panels black so it all matches on all black interior, blue paint exterior, black like jet black leather interior, it's gonna be sick. And if you're not sure what truck I'm talking about, that's for the blue resto gen that we've been working on for the past a little over a month. We just got it dropped off at paint probably almost two weeks ago now, and he did send me some pictures. I'm not gonna show them to you guys, but 
it, the truck's looking really good. He's already got a lot of it sanded down and primed, so it's moving along good, super excited. Probably still gonna be another few weeks before we get that truck back, because he's still gotta do quite a bit. But stay tuned on the channel, because it's gonna be pretty sweet. I did also get a phone call put in about the wheels and tires for the six-speed Cummins, and we did get some updates on those. I ordered them from a website I don't normally order stuff from, but I have ordered stuff from them one time before, and that was it. Essentially, I did call them, and it's been about, it's actually been almost three weeks since I ordered these wheels and tires. Uh, but of course, just like with everything else, you know, just everything's just delayed due to all the huge restrictions because of the whole COVID, you know, I call it a scam, not that COVID's an actual scam, the virus itself, but the panic aspect of it put into people by media is just complete, it's just a complete scam for something bigger that they know what they're doing it for. But most of us just kind of choose what we want to believe and then go from there. But don't read into everything you hear and don't believe everything you hear. Anyways, I called them and I asked them about the wheels and tires and they said, yes, they're actually going out today. They said due to the whole COVID mess, a lot of the states that we order our tires and wheels into from their facilities, they have to just basically wait on whatever their restrictions might be in terms of how much manpower they have at a time to ship stuff and get stuff shipped out to them so they can mount and balance stuff and package it up and ship it out to us. So he said everything's about, takes two times as long right now than normal. So he said that I should have the wheels and tires within the next week. You know, sorry for the inconvenience, it's just, they're just at the mercy of the governors and the state rules and all that other stuff right now. So just kind of how it's going. So um, unfortunately, that's the problem. And that's why we've been waiting longer than we should usually. But another thing I want to point out is for the orders placed on our website, speaking of, you know, having to wait on stuff longer than normal, that's a problem right now. Because for the most part, all of our orders always shipped under a week for sure. Like you like most of the time you got your orders within 10 days or less. And that was a pretty normal thing. But recently, our main fulfillment center is located in Michigan. Due to the regulations and restrictions that have been put on them for fulfillment and how many people can be in the workplace, since they're not considered essential because they're just a clothing fulfillment center, it's restricting how fast they can get orders sent out to you guys. So I just want you guys to understand that this is not normally how things work because we've been getting so many emails and comments like I can't even tell you how many comments we've gotten in the last two weeks. I ordered something a week ago. Where's it at? I ordered something 10 days ago. Where's it at? I ordered something two weeks ago. Why isn't it here yet? You know what I'm saying? Like why is it just now shipping and it's been 14 days? And first off, I want you guys to know that that is not normally how things are ran here and it still is not the way we are running things. It's just the way things are operating due to the outrageous restrictions that don't make any sense. It's just stupid. It doesn't make any sense. It makes no logic why they're being like this over a 99% survival rate virus. That's just, that should be proof to you right now it's not about a virus. Putting the Cadillac to work. She bought a ladder. She bought a ladder, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I got a couple little announcements, a little, uh, little surprise revealing for you guys. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna tell them what we named the car giveaway brand. Um, Do you like the name? Yes. Yeah, she loves it. Why is it always windy? I don't know, it's like super windy. Like the last week it's just been absolutely horrible. Yeah. But I'm hoping that uh, that horrible wind starts to die down and uh, it's more respectful. Also, you've got something big coming up, don't you? I do. Yeah, you do. We just talked about this this morning. The winner? No, not that. We don't have a winner for the trick yet. I'm talking about your, your plan for your next truck giveaway? I'm wrapping it? What? Shh, don't give it away. They don't know <laughs> I don't that even yet. know what truck I'm <laughs> Anyway, so she's got something planned for her next truck giveaway. It's gonna be a little bit different. It's not something that we've ever really done before. We'll get to that and she'll get to explaining that soon. But right now I'm gonna be getting in the Hellcat and I'm gonna go over a couple of things for you guys that are kind of, kind of big, kind of exciting. But I do wanna go over something really important, something big about the new car giveaway business and all that stuff going on. So the name of the company is gonna be Prosperity Driven Apparel Co. We're not gonna go fully in depth as to why I went with that particular name, but I will explain in a video very soon the meaning of it the thought process behind it and why it's gonna be such a big deal. I'll let you guys think on those words. Prosperity, driven. Prosperity, driven. Apparel company is just because it's an apparel company, but like prosperity and driven. Think on the words, think on the meaning of the words, and think about the bigger picture behind those two words together. 
So I'll leave that with you guys. Of course, driven sounds like you're talking about a car, but it's really it really has nothing to do with a car. Prosperity really doesn't sound like it has anything to do with a car, but it has to go with the name. And I hope you guys understand. Hopefully you guys are kind of um, thinking on that. But anyways, there's gonna be a bunch more information on that coming very soon. I'm probably actually going to be submitting a video on the new YouTube channel very soon regarding the name, the meaning of the brand, the full reveal, everything that's going on, the website launch, all that stuff. If you have not done so yet, which most of you probably haven't because I haven't told anybody to, um, there's going to be a link down in the description below and it's going to be probably the second link down and it's going to be labeled Prosperity Driven Apparel Co. YouTube channel and there's going to be a link. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to be the first to hear about the new information, the reveal of the website, the meaning behind the name, the meaning behind the company and the brand and what it stands for and what it's going to be trying to do in terms of empowerment for people. If you guys haven't done so yet, subscribe to this YouTube channel, subscribe to the new YouTube channel. Anyways, I'll catch you back over there in the vehicle because we're going to be running the six speed up to drop it off to get leather work done. So the actual leather interior I'm going to be going with is not like a limited seat swap or anything like that. Essentially what it's going to be is he's going to be basically replicating a, you know, limited interior from like a fourth gen truck. So it's going to basically be like a black perforated leather interior with like gray stitching and accent stuff. So that's essentially how it's going to look. That's essentially how it's going to be. And I think it's going to look really good because the trucks, of course, got the tint. It's got the smoked out uh, cab lights and the sport tail lights, sport headlights, paint match, grill, bumpers, mirrors, all that stuff. So the truck looks really good. It looks like a sport or, you know, limited truck other than it doesn't have a brushed aluminum grill. But other than that, I mean, it's going to look really, really good. It's going to turn out really nicely. So we're going to be here any minute now. And if you guys want to know roughly how much it costs to do this stuff, like for this regular cab to do that type of interior, it's like, I think he said like 1400 or 1300 or something. So like, it sounds like a lot, but if you think about the cost of actually buying those seats and swapping them, it's actually not that bad of a price. Get a good look at the seats. This is the last time you're gonna see them like this. It's gone. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. He said that uh, ordinarily it's been taking literally two, three, four weeks to get leather and to do stuff. He said that he ordered the kit for my truck over a week ago now. He said it just hasn't come in yet, like all the leather that he needs for it. So hopefully it doesn't take that long because I really don't want to wait that long. But I do understand that with everything going on right now, all the states making up their own rules and laws and then the companies within those states having to abide by them or else, so to speak, like it's just what are they gonna do you know what I'm saying so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did smash a thumbs up leave a comment down below subscribe if you're new don't forget to get 10x entries towards winning that white 2018 Cummins because those entries are ending this week and then you won't be able to get those again so thank you guys so much links are all in the description below I'll catch you guys in the next video peace